Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And today our topic is, take the snake by the head. In our daily prophetic words, the Holy Spirit has told us that we should take the snake by the head. What does that mean? The snake is Satan, the evil one. And we should wrestle with him, like Michael, the archangel, and take the snake by the head, so that we can rescue all the people that he tries to devour. We should rescue the multitude clothed in white, and bring them to Mount Zion. And how do we do that? We do that by coming together in love, unity and support in the dwelling places of Zion. And in these dwelling places we gather the children of Zion together, and we teach and train them and empower them to be the harvest worker of the Lord in this sealed tribulation period that is starting right now. They will go out into the neighborhood empowered by the Holy Spirit, by our training, by our teaching, and they will bring in the harvest of the ages. By preaching to them partially, but mainly by setting an example. They go out, make a daily sacrifice of love, lift up the needy, show forth help to the nameless, faceless, the vulnerable. And by showing this example, many people will come to Christ. Through example, in the same way as Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, was our example. Now we should be as close as possible to him and be the, and, and are the example for the rest of the world, so that they see how a true Christian is acting, not by fighting online, but by going forth after he was saved through grace by faith, and after he has changed his life coming out of the world and out of Babylon, then now he will show forth the fruits of his salvation, and he will show forth the fruits of, fruits of Jesus Christ. Then he will have taken his cross and will walk the narrow pass. And on that pass he will reach Mount Zion, where in the sixth seal Jesus will come down and the rapture will take place. You can be part of this. If you do not know how to establish a dwelling place of Zion or what is required, just send me an email to triplegrace55 at gmail.com and I will show it to you. All the links are in the description box below. I will help you to start, I will help you to gather the children of Zion in your neighborhood. You will empower them and train and teach them and you will send them forth to show forth the love of the Father to the neighbors as Jesus has commanded us. Love your neighbor as yourself and love God the Father above all else. And he has commanded us to brotherly love, so we also have to support one another is as the first Christian did in the book of Acts, Acts 2, chapter 2, where they say, come together, they share resources, they took love meals together, they had all in common, and they helped the needy and the nameless and faceless in their surroundings. That is exactly what we should do right now. And because we have come out of the world and out of Babylon, then God will protect us and will take us under his wings. And Antichrist, who will rise up very shortly now, will have no access to us. Because the Lord will cover us with a cloud and smoke by day and with a flaming fire by night. The same way as he has protected the Israelites who came out of Egypt. And now we in the great exodus will come out of the world and out of Babylon. And Babylon is a false church system. The, the worldly church, the lukewarm church. We will separate ourselves from them. We will walk that narrow path towards Mount Zion. The holy mountain. The mountain not carved by human hands. But the mountain that is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And on top of that mountain is... The, the temple and is the throne and on this throne is Abba Father. As it is written in Revelation 6, the people are afraid, afraid of the one who sits on the throne and afraid of the Lamb. So there are two people there, 
Father and Son. Read the book of Revelation and you will have great understanding. Please also have a look at our playlist of the Great Exodus series. There are so many important videos there. Ask your question. Send them to our ministry email at triplegrace55 at gmail.com. I will help you if you have questions. If you're guided, especially for this Christmas time now, to support our Triple Grace charity where we help children and the nameless and faceless, then please follow the link in the first pin comment. And instead to use your money for useless gifts, just make a, a nice donation to help the children who never had Christmas or never had anything good in their lives. And we will lift them up in your name and in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you that you have listened to this topic and I hope I will see you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.